Hi everyone, welcome to DCC Interface. Uh, this is a short video showing our premium kit and uh, our new screen uh, that we've been working with a few customers to develop uh, and it's proven to be very popular. Um, so what we're going to quickly do is we're just going to go through a few of the steps, uh, how to use it uh, and how even to do a quick program on it as well. So the first thing we need to do is turn it on. Once you power up the turntable, the screen will come up and say, please wait. Um, basically, the unit will basically do a rotation to find the home sensor. Um, so with a magnet mounted on one end of the table, um, it will then go round and basically find the hall sensor that you place on the turntable well underneath. Um, so what this will do is this will go to the figure there, which marks my head end of the turntable. Uh, and that will go to track number one, which is we this one here. So in a minute we'll see it stop. And that basically now means that it's learned its home position and it's ready to go from there. Right, so we'll turn attention to the screen now. Uh, as you can see, I've got five positions, uh, five indexes, <coughs> excuse me. Five indexes set in the uh, turntable memory, uh, and what I can literally do is I can then basically click on these sections and then basically say, so for instance, I'm at one head at the moment, so if I want to do a full rotation of the turntable, I can then ask it for the tail, and that will now do a full rotation. You can see that the screen now indicates that the turntable is in motion. And when it gets to its point, it will stop and the screen will go back to the menu. There we are. So now if I want to basically change the position of it, so say for instance I want to come down to this number one, this number four here, I can use the screen, use the wheel, rotate, and I'll say the tail end, and it will go shortest travel there. So not only can I use the screen to do this, I can also send the table a DCC address, um, which I'll demonstrate in the config as well. Um, you can then set the addresses up in the config of the unit as well. Um, so in this case, I've got them set to 200, 201, 202, 203, 204. Um, so now what we'll do is we'll turn the sensor to the screen and we'll have a little look in the actual menu itself. So if I push and hold this button here, and release then goes into the config so it gives me the speed um, and the number of indexes I can set so for instance if I want to increase those number of indexes click the wheel here and then I can increase them up to eight so if I then want to set the position of these indexes I can then go down to my index positions and what you end up doing is you only have the one position to set the table itself is then clever enough to work out that it needs to rotate 180 degrees on the steps. So if I then go, for instance, to index number eight as an example, and then I just go and set the head end of the table, you'll notice by me turning that once, the table will then rotate to that position so you can double check it. So then what you can then do is you can then use the index to then basically adjust the position. If, for example, I wanted to do large increments, I can push the button in for a small seconds, release, and then it will go to 10 steps. So you now get a larger movement. If I push it again and hold it, release, I then get 100 increments. So that's even larger steps. Once you've then set that, it's then a case of you've saved that to the config, tap it once, 
and that's now locked in there. This is also the DCC address, so if I send a DCC accessory address of 207 to closed, it will then go to this position here. If I send 207 a thrown position, the tail end of the turntable will come to this position here. And then simply to save all this, it's just a case of back to the main screen and push and hold your config save button. There we are, and then as you can see, I've now added those extra indexes. So I shall go to position eight and I shall tell it to go the tail end. So this should now rotate full 180 degrees to roughly this position here. There we go. So what I'll do now is I'll do a brief overview under the board view and uh, that gives you an idea of what the kit includes. So here we have a brief undershot from underneath the layout. This is the Pico well here and in your kit you get this adapter plate. You get the 40mm standoff units. It's just a case of drilling a little hole through the middle of your uh, drainage ports on the actual well of the table and then you can connect it in a nut and bolt. Your stepper motor mounts directly there and it's a case of you then use a mounting to the underside of your turntable uh, with a four millimetre, uh, in this case I've used a brass sleeve so I carry the uh, track power down on that brass pin as it were. So we then turn our attention to the actual main module itself. Um, this is a previous version, so there will be a newer version available, um, but it's a case of this then unit then connects into your screen via these cables here, and then it's just a case of all the wires that are then in the instruction manual uh, basically are then indicated to how to wire it in. Um, so this little unit here will be built into the new board, um, so you won't have to worry about any of this. Your two DCC wires are those two there and they go into that feed there and then you have your power wires there as well. So this little unit here in case you're wondering is a uh, Tam Valley dual frog juicer uh, set up as an auto reverser so basically if my turntable rotates 180 degrees it then basically switches the rail polarities over for me. I hope that's a little bit of a video for you if you've got any questions leave them in the comments below. Many thanks.